Good day learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about artistic effects. So yeah, I've just inserted a picture into Word and you can see when I have not clicked on it, everything looks normal up here in the ribbon area. When I click on it, you can see I've got another tab that opens picture format. I've got my picture styles that will apply to this particular picture. But over on the left hand side, I've got a few um, options here and one of them are artistic effects. So I just want you to know basically where the artistic effects are. And I'm going to use, for example, um, the blur. So you can see as I move my mouse pointer over this, you can see there are different names. So if you are asked in the paper to do these things, just know where it is and obviously which option to choose. You've also got artistic effect options, which brings this area on the side over here. So like a little navigation pane. Now, again, you still have to choose an artistic effect. So let's say I'm still going to go with the blur. Okay. And you can see what that does. However, it gives me options now because I can now decide, you know, what sort of radius I want to blur, how much of it I want to blur out. Um, I can go and add a couple of, oh, that's okay. That, that's, that's a bit too much. <laughs> I went too far. Okay. Um, I can decide if I want to put in a shadow, a reflection, a glow, you know, anything like that. Um, maybe I want to add a little orange glow. So going to artistic effects and going to the options will actually give me all of these items in one. Whereas if I just select one of these, it's just going to apply that. Now, if you haven't gone to that section, you can also... Um, just right click on the picture and go format picture and the same area will come up. Okay, so this is how we get to and this is how we can play around with artistic effects in Word.